How's it going guys, Zara here, so today I wanted to share my first impressions on The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, specifically for the PlayStation 5 update. Now, I've been playing this game for around a little bit more than 10 hours at this point. I actually, I'm kind of delayed on this because I was going for platinum trophies on the God of War Ragnarok, so, you know, I got a pretty, pretty late start towards this game. Now, unfortunately, I have to say that this game or this update is not like, maybe flawless is the word that I want to use here. But it's definitely not the way that perhaps a lot of people were expecting to say that it is simply incredible experience. An update does it well on every frontier. And basically, you know, it's a day one recommendation. Go ahead and play it. No need to wait. It is there. It's the definitive way of experiencing The Witcher 3. You know, I want to first talk about the transferring system towards this Witcher 3. So, I actually have gotten a Platinum Trophy for the PlayStation 4 version of The Witcher 3. And basically what I wanted to do is simply transfer the save over that already contains a Platinum Trophy to the PlayStation 5 version of The Witcher 3. Now first of all, unfortunately the bad news is you do not get any single trophy at all. So yes, you will have to start from the, from the very beginning. But on top of that, this also means that you're going to be locked out from a few of the trophies. Well, locked out from a few of the trophies, I perhaps should mention that, that as of this moment, I only noticed one particular trophy. There's a trophy that you will require to get to level 35, but if you already have surpassed that level, unfortunately, well, you cannot get that trophy. So yes, this means that you cannot even go through the new game plus mode, but you're gonna have to lose all of the progress that you made already, so you're gonna have to start a completely brand new game. So it basically gives me a more incentivization of actually, well, a reason to replay the game is actually, you know, this there, but it's also not present. And there, for example, because I have not played Witcher 3 for quite a while, but also not so present is because I kind of don't want to go through all this adventure of actually getting a platinum trophy because it was quite a little bit frustrating because it was quite lengthy adventure to get that platinum. But nevertheless, I decided to play the game and I'm playing currently on the death march, uh, you know, the difficulty, the highest difficulty that there is. And, you know, I'm playing this, I'm having a good time. Um, quite challenging, of course, in a lot of frontiers. I'm actually currently, as recording this video, I'm about to leave Velen area, basically. So, like, I was taking my sweet time with this game, of course. And I just want to take my time, especially level up, because it's quite necessary. You need to make sure you do that, or otherwise, in main story quests, you're going to have a hell of a time and have big, big, big problems and difficulties. So this is why you need to take the time and try and level up first. So afterwards, I'm noticing that, you know, new features that this next generation update has is definitely a very nice touch. For example, new armor, new swords, and also the, you know, in overall aspects, in terms of the quality, and the best of them all, it is the performance. You know, 60 FPS playing this game is definitely a necessity now, in any game, mind you. And after experiencing this, I don't want to. I don't want to get, come back ever into 30 FPS. I think 30 FPS now is just an excuse from the developers saying that they cannot do this, or maybe they have limitations in their own engine. And if that's the case, well, that's their fault because every single single game out there that are open world games, even they all have 60 FPS implementation, and that should be the norm. That should be the standard. So, you know, I want to touch on this regarding The Witcher 3 as well. I'm playing the game and I'm noticing a few things. Man, it is outdated. I don't know if I have actually said this or even thought about this before when I was playing The Witcher 3, like a couple of years ago, maybe a bit more than that. And But now I'm playing this game and I'm noticing, my goodness, this is so outdated, even with all the bells and whistles, upgrades, updates and mods and system like that in terms of mods because obviously CD Projekt Red actually taking the mods that the community has made and they implemented into this next generation Witcher 3. So it's awesome. But of course, just you know, seeing all this and playing the game now, I can see how the button layout is a little bit convoluted, a little bit overbearing as well. And some things are not exactly thought out, but thankfully they did do a good job of actually sort of monetizing, monetizing, modernizing this game to 2022 standards. But again, unfortunately, like I said, this game is quite outdated. The game came out in 2015. It's already, well, 
what is it, seven, will we'll be reaching to eight years old. So of course it makes sense why we'll be feeling a little bit outdated. But you know, I'm just noticing this maybe as well, uh, it's just that the limitations that he has, or maybe the polish is lacking. And I gotta say, I think it's the polish. I think that CD Projekt Red still needs a lot more time to polish their games. And for example, that they are like they're quite significantly uh, lacking. CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077 had the very very poor polish. Uh, Witcher 3, even at the day one release in 20 back in 2015, that had an, an like an awful amount of like no polish basically, and a lot of people hated that. The game was like in a very bad state. And every, every other game that CD Projekt Red has published and has released, again, they are in all in a bad state. And, but thankfully, over the time, they fix them and they become a far better experience. Now, I'll be upfront and honest. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the next generation update, is in a very good state that you can definitely experience this and play. Now, I do not want to give you a review and say, like, I have actually experienced two different versions of the performance and also the ray tracing mode because I did not even bother trying the 30 FPS ray tracing mode because I think that's just a downgrade, a step back, you should completely forget about it. Ray tracing, it's an overrated feature, but again, if it's done right, then I, don't, I cannot say that it is an overrated feature. In this case, consoles, even on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, unfortunately, they are way too limited in terms of actually having a fantastic implementation of ray tracing. This is why they truly are not worth it. But 60 FPS, that's a different story. That is a necessity, and that is definitely no excuse of saying, oh, I cannot do it, because just like Evil Within, for example, uh, Plague Tales, uh, Requiem, I think it was Gotham Knights as well, all these guys are mentioning that they cannot implement a 60 FPS, that's just an excuse, or maybe because the developers are not as grand as as many, and perhaps maybe they did not test a few things, or whatever the right reason, of course. In Plague Tales Requiem, I can kind of see why it could have been not implemented as a 60 FPS, because there's so many rats and situations going on with that game. Gotham Knights, though, no, 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 no. That's just an excuse. That's just saying, like, what is going on here? You know, having a PlayStation 5 only 30 FPS, that's bullshit. Even within 30 FPS, no, that's just bullshit. Okay, so now, regarding the story, there's unfortunately not many changes, if at all, in fact. I have not yet tried the Netflix's, you know, kind of story implementation that they have introduced in The Witcher 3 Next Generation update. But I'm definitely noticing that, you know, a lot of memories come back, a lot of nostalgia is coming back to me with this game. But also, I feel like, and this is just me probably, it's a me situation. I feel like I still need more time until I truly have, like, genuinely given a proper, kind of, very positive feedback about this game. And I think that I need it, me personally, I needed more time away from Witcher, completely. Because I feel like Witcher has been a little bit oversaturated, and not in just in games uh, department, I'm talking about obviously a series, what's going on with Geralt as well, Geralt, well, Henry Cavill, I should say, you know, like a situation he's been going through with the Superman situation is absolutely like ridiculous. Man is, it's an incredible man, like he's so genuine, so honest, and yet he's just being punched around basically, saying like, yeah, you will be coming back as Superman. Two months later, he confirms that he's no longer Superman. It's like, what the hell's going on? And now he's not even coming back as the Witcher. But thankfully, he's, he's going to be in a series of 40k, so that's like a all like all kudos to him for sure. Uh, but like The Witcher 3 is, uh, well, not Witcher 3, Witcher 3rd season of Netflix uh, series is going to be the last time that Henry Cavill will be a part of that show. And this, continue on from there, I think it's like Liam Hemsworth, I think he's the one that's going to be taking over the reins as Geralt. At that point, I think they should have completely cancelled. Third season should be the last season of The Witcher, and stop. If there's no Geralt, if there's no Henry, there's no Geralt. And if there's no Geralt, there's no Witcher. And I'm sure I know there's like a blood and dragon and stuff. There's a new kind of a spin-out, spin-up kind of a Witcher show that's going on in December. Well, in a few days, or it isn't even out now. I'm not sure. I'm not going to bother watching it because I'm not interested. What I'm interested in The Witcher is Geralt and his relationship with other characters and people that we already know and love. I'm not interested in seeing background stories 
Unless, of course, if you're bored or you're just interested for some sort of an entertainment. Or maybe you're just interested in lore. But, but again, you know, in talking about lore, it's not like the director or whoever's writing these uh, movies and stuff. There's, they're not actually even going into the source, like a proper source of the novel or, or by the books. Because that was mainly why Henry has left The Witcher Show, because they were not truly going a part of the source. Uh, they were just doing their own thing at that point well guys unfortunately as you can hear i'm not like overly ecstatic about the witcher 3 uh, next generation update uh, sure i sprinkle sprinkle in a little bit more than, than that but you know i want to have a little bit of discussion about this before i go guys i want to mention a few things i actually will be going away uh, for about just a tiny bit more than two weeks so basically i have like maybe three videos planned but unfortunately I would not be able to upload like regular proper uh, you know videos that I usually would so basically I'm gonna be a little bit stagnant but I'm gonna have special videos coming out anyway I already got them pre-planned and uh, I'm still looking forward to for you to check out those special videos I put a lot of time and effort into them and uh, I actually have got one more special video planned but unfortunately I didn't get around of finishing the script and it's, it's re like it's an annual thing I do it's regarding the my of my of my most anticipated games of the following year uh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to postpone that for about two weeks like yeah about minimum two weeks and so that video will be coming out sometime after 14th of January sometime on Sunday and of course on Patreon on my Patreon is gonna be coming out three days earlier than that so I'm very much looking forward to it. I definitely want to walk and walk, 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 <laughs> work on that video. And uh, like I said, it's my kind of uh, kind of jam. I like to do and I like to go about. All right, guys. Uh, do let me know what you think about The Witcher 3: Wild Hunt, the next generation update specifically, and uh, I would love to read it. Okay, like and subscribe. See you guys all. Have a wonderful day.